Hey, it's Tim from Happy Mag here, and I'm gonna show you a brand new plugin called Waves Harmony from Waves. This creates harmonies from one single vocal, and we're gonna show you how to use it. As a special treat, we've got the sultry tones of Andy Bull performing his latest single, Slipping Away, while using this plugin. Andy recently came in for a live from Happy performance. We'll link you to that below. If you don't know Waves, they're a software company that paved the way for professional standard plugins when recording with computers was frowned upon. They've got so many plugins for both technical and creative music production and live performance, and this one works in either situation. From one single vocal, this plugin can create a multitude of harmonies. And we've seen these used before from people like Bon Iver, Francis and the Lights, Kanye West, but this vocal harmony plugin is way more intuitive. The Waves Harmony essentially has three modes. Playable mode, auto-generate mode, and draw harmony mode. To really make this plugin work at its best, you should set the key. But how do you do this if you don't know? Well, aside from digging in and learning some music theory, there's a few ways. The easiest way is to grab a MIDI controller and play in the harmonies. Or play in your song, and you can send that MIDI to Waves Harmony. This is called playable mode, we'll link you to that below. The second guesstimate way is to try using the first chord of your song. For example, the first chord is D minor, so set the key to D minor and see if everything conforms. The third way is that you can set the plugin to chromatic, meaning that it will read every note, but it's not always precise. There's so much more in this plugin than just creating harmonies. It can generate notes from preset chords for you. Each note can be tweaked with pitch, formant, delay, filter, pan, and level and there's extensive global controls, and you can create up to 32 snapshots of your creations. As well as all of this, the user interface has this really cool display that looks like a baseball field, where you click to add notes and then drag them around the stereo field. I found this much more creative than other vocal harmony plugins I've used. We're gonna test out the plugin now with Andy's 808 drum beat, his profit synthesizer, and his vocal. And after that, we'll go through the waves harmony in more detail. Unison right here. But now we can start adding notes. Yeah. Yo. All of my life I try. So I'm just playing chords. And the tracking's pretty good because I'm just talking. But in it to one side, I'm feeling the strain. I feel you slipping away. It also harmonizes my mistakes perfectly. The nice thing about this is that I can sing whatever I want, so I can actually move my lead vocal around, ad lib or whatever, and I still have the, the backing of the bed, so of what I'm playing with my hands, like this. All of my life I try putting it to one side. That's no hard tuning on my voice, but I can, I can tune it too, I think. I can. Right, so that, that's the hard tuning. Now there's like a delay function here. Uh, so let's see, ooh, okay, cool, cool. Oh, 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 oh yeah. yeah. Do you hear me? Yeah. Here we are, my dear. Oh, by way of this, that we might clear the air. All in my mind is all so clear. My realness deep is shared, I swear. And it's all the ways I love you, all the ways I care. All of my life I try, putting it to one side. I'm feeling the strain, I feel you slipping away. That's cool, man. <laughs> that was something I could say. Something to take it all the way. I'm breaking my brain. I feel you slipping away. Oh, slipping away. Oh, I feel you slipping away. Starting on the top bar, we have the generate notes section and that's linked to a tolerance. And this is when the notes start. And also, this is the pitch of that. Then you've got the key, where you can bring down the drop-down menu and select, and then you have the different types of scales that it can conform to. You can actually create your own as well. 
You can lock that to the key or unlock it. Just under that is where you have the presets of chords and the presets of harmonies. Then you've got this key bed here, which will show up when you play MIDI. You can edit that and chord map it and do a whole lot more. Then you've got the source and the harmony levels. And if you click on this where it says correct, you can go hard, notes, off or natural. Then you've got the master. Then you've got the global menu where you can glide up to notes, correct formants, pitch, and formant, and spread. This will affect everything. Staying over this side of the plugin, this is where you can create your snapshots. For example, you can draw in a simple three part on snapshot one, Snapshot two, you can draw in a five part. Snapshot three, you can draw in a seven part. Going over to the left hand side here, you can turn notes on and off. And this panel is related to each individual note. And each individual note can have delay, feedback, filter. Change the filter by clicking on it. It's got pan and you'll see it move around. Or you can click and drag and do this. And there's also level as well you can click and drag and do that too. You'll notice up the top here is a little plus sign, but also if you right click, you can delete them. Down the bottom, you can open up the advanced tab and there's four LFOs or sequences. And all you do is click them and then drag them to a section and that'll control the pitch. Then there's ADSR1 and ADSR2. You can see that A1 at the moment is linked to this level here. Then there's pitch and spread up. Again, click and drag. As well as these menus of chords and harmonies, there's actually presets. Ensemble, auto harmony, doubler, effects. And there's a huge artist section. And just on the top right hand corner here, you can change the user size. And also show tool tips, user manual, and more info. It's a real shame to call this just a vocal harmony plugin as it does so much more and it can create instrument like layers that can bring some character to your music. My favorite part of this plugin was the display where you can draw in notes and then drag them around the stereo field as well as individually tweaking them with pitch, delay and the filter and all of that stuff. I had so much fun mapping this to the key of C sharp minor, Andy's song and tweaking all the little harmonies and moving them around the stereo field. But then also, Andy creating the harmonies with his MIDI. And I thought that'd be such a great thing for a live performance. At the moment, Waves Harmony is on special for $39.99 US dollars and it retails at $149. You can head over to the Waves website to pick it up. I had so much fun playing with this. I hope you do too. You can demo it if you like. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.